before we start this part two walkthrough i wanted to apologize for the part one of what happened it's not super important but i just wanted to let you know that uh you know i was using the face cam on my laptop and i was just using it for testing purposes and for recording my voice i was actually using my iphone that i'm currently using for the face cam and i've used my iphone in most of my videos as my face cam so from now on, if possible, I'm going to use my iPhone as my uh, face cam because it can record at 1080p60 and maybe 4K60 so we can have the best quality possible. So yeah, that being said, let's start the part 2 of Doki Doki Literature Club. Let's -a go! Hello dear gamers, Yorkfield here and today we are back to continue our playthrough on Doki Doki Literature Club or we're just gonna say DDLC for short like everyone says. So last time remember we uh, were introduced to the Literature Club with uh, Sayuri and Monica the leader and the two other girls which I don't really remember their names but we'll see uh, when we play uh, this episode and we had to write a poem about one of the characters and what we like about them I guess that's what uh, some of my friends said even Swag said since he knows this game pretty well more than me to be honest so now that being said let's start the part two okay here we are apparently we have to choose 20 words okay color rose hope alone unending I've never heard of that word before. Shame, party, frightening, bubbles, explode. Explode! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna think of, about who am I going to write a poem for. I'm gonna write one for Sayori. Carla? <laughs> I just noticed that she jumped. <laughs> I don't know if she can hear me. <laughs> oh, parfait. I don't know if it's pronounced like that because parfait is a French word. It's pronounced parfait. Parfait, it means perfect, so. Extraordinary. Cheeks. I'm gonna say sweet. Peace. Together. Adventure. Smile. Cheer. I'm gonna say hair. Pure. Fluffy. I'm gonna say anime. I, I, I didn't expect that they were putting that word on a poem of DDLC. Even though DDLC is an anime novel game. Journey. Oh, oh kawaii. <laughs> Genki. Beauty. Cute. Horror, I think I would choose that if I was running for Yuri, since she liked horror, if you remember in the last episode. Lollipop? Uh, sensation. And I think that's the last one. Uh, happiness. Hi again, Yorkfield. Oh, hi, Monica. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. Ha 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 ha. Nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but I at least keep my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, Yorkfield. No problem, Yuri. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accust accustomed to it. Oh, come on. Like he deserves any slack. <laughs> Suddenly Natsuki pops up and I uh, I noticed that Natsuki often is unhappy. Sayori told me you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. And last year too. I don't know if you plan to just come, come here and hang out or what. But if you don't take us seriously then you won't see the end of it. Natsuki you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the club room. Mmm. Natsuki finds herself stuck between, say, Monica and Manga. <laughs> Manga's literature! Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops back into her seat. Don't worry, guys. Yorkfield always gives it his best as long as he's having fun. He helps me with busy work without me even asking. Like cooking, cleaning my room. How dependable. Sayori, that's because your room is so messy, it's distracting. And you almost set your house on fire once. Oh no! Is that so? <laughs> you two are really good friends, aren't you? 
I might be a little jealous. How come? You and Yorkfield can become good friends too. Uh, um... Sayuri? Hmm... As usual, Sayuri seems oblivious to the weird situation she just put me into. Oh, oh, Yuri even brought you something today, you know. W wait, Sayuri! Eh, me? Um, not really. Don't be shy. It's really nothing. <laughs> Come on, spit it out! Don't be shy! What is it? N n never mind. <laughs> She's so embarrassed, I guess. Sayuri made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. Uh, what do I do? Eh, hey, I'm sorry, Yuri. I wasn't thinking. I guess that means it's up to me to rescue the situation. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. Uh, it'll make me happy no matter what. I is that so? Yeah, I won't make it a big deal if you want it, don't want it to be. Alright. Well, here. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to... I didn't want you to feel left out. So I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so you sh it should keep your attention even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know. Discuss it if you want it. This is... How this girl accidentally being so cute. She even picked out a book she thinks I'll like, despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically took the book. Phew. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone settled in, I expected Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Sayuri and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. <laughs> okay, so Yuri loves reading, I guess, unlike me in the game, of course, who doesn't read much. I can't help but notice her intense expression like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. Ugh. I hear Natsuki utter an exasperated sigh from within the closet. She seems to be annoyed by something. I approach her in case she needs a hand. You're looking for something in there? Freaking Monica! She never puts my stuff back in the right spot. What's the point of keeping your collection organized if someone else is just gonna mess it up? Natsuki slides a bunch of stacked books and boxes across the shelf. Manga. You read manga, right? Ah. Sometimes. Manga is one of those things where you can't admit you're really into, un into it until you figure out where the other person stands. How did you know anyway? I heard you bring it up at some point. Besides, it's kind of written on your face. <laughs> What's that supposed to be? I, I see. There's a lone volume of manga amidst a stack of various books on the side of one of the shelves. Curious, I pull it out of the stack. There it is. Natsuki snatches it out of my hand. She then turns to a box of manga and slips the volume right into the middle of the rest. Ah, much better. Seeing a box set with one book missing is probably the most irritating sight in the world. I know that I, I know that feel. I get a closer look at the box set she's admir admiring. Parfait, girls? It's a series I've never heard of, my, of in my life. That probably means it's either way out of my demographic or it's simply terrible. If, it, if you're gonna judge, you can go do it through the glass on that door. She points to the classroom door. H hey, I wasn't judging anything. I didn't even say anything. It was the tone of your voice. But I'll tell you one thing, Yorkfield. Consider this a lesson straight from the Literature Club. Don't judge a book by its cover. In fact, Natsuki pulls out the first volume of Parfait Girls from the box. 
I'm gonna show you exactly why. She shoves the book right into my hands. Ah! I stare at the cover. It features four girls in colorful attire, striking animated feminine pose. It's exceedingly moo. Don't just stand there. Ooh, uh. Ooh. <laughs> Natsuki grabs my arm and pulls me out of the closet. She then takes a seat against the wall beneath the window sills. She pats on the ground next to her, signaling me to sit there. Wouldn't chairs be more comfortable? I take my seat. Chairs wouldn't work. We can't read at the same time like that. Eh, what is that? Ah, I guess it's easier to be close together like this. Don't just say that! You'll make me feel weird about it. Natsuki crosses her arms and scooches an inch away from me. Sorry, I didn't exactly expect to be sitting this close to her either. Not that I can say it's particularly a bad thing. I open the book. It's only a few seconds before Natsuki once again inches closer, reclaiming the additional space while she hopes I wouldn't notice. I can feel her. I can feel her peering over my shoulder, much more eager to begin reading than I am. Wow, how, how, wow, how long has it been since I read the beginning? Hmm, you don't go back and flip through the older volumes every now and then? Not really, maybe sometimes after I've already finished the series. Hey, are you paying attention? Uh... I am, but nothing's really happened yet, so I can talk at the same time. It looks like a, it's a bunch of friends at high school. Typical slice of life affair. I kind of grew out of these, since it's rare for the writing to be entertaining enough to make up for the lack of plot. So, what should I expect from this? Is there going to be plot? Well, obviously. You think I would enjoy something that didn't have a plot? I mean... Well, I guess, you know, I know what you're saying. A lot of the beginning is about simple things. Like, there's a really funny chapter when they're obsessed with a guy at the ice cream shop. But that just helps you to get to know the characters. And besides, it's still entertaining. But later on, there's all kinds of drama. Like when they got all into their backstories, and when some of the romance starts to happen. That's really what makes it so good. There are so many touching parts. Ah, is that so? It sounds like you really know what you're talking about. Maybe I un underestimated you. <laughs> hey, wait. What's that supposed to mean? Ooh, uh, again. Natsuki gives me a little shove. I just meant that I haven't seen you at your full power. Hmm, good save. Ah, this chapter seems like it's about baking. This is just a guess, but... Is there a lot of baking in this manga? Well, Natsuki paused for a moment, as, as if she doesn't want to admit something. Yeah. Why does that matter? It doesn't, I was just curious. Since you enjoy baking too, right? That's... Just a coincidence! I just... it happened to get into baking around the same time I got this manga. Like, would I ever go, uh, get into anything because it's a manga? I feel bad for anyone that's impressionable. Ah ha ha. Definitely not a coincidence. I guess that explains Natsuki's interest in baking. Still, of all the hobbies to pick up from a manga, that's definitely one of the better ones. Not to mention she's really good at it, so who am I to judge? We read on for a few more minutes. I've finished a couple chapters at this point. Are you sure this isn't boring for you? It's not. Even though you're just watching me read. Read, sorry. Well, I'm fine with that. If you say so. I guess it's fun sharing something you like with someone else. I always get excited when I convince any of my friends to pick up a series I enjoy. You know what I mean? Hmm. You don't? Um. Oh, I just noticed her eyes just moved. <laughs> That's not. Well. I wouldn't really know. What do you mean? Don't you share your manga with your friends? Could you not rub it in? Jeez. Ah, sorry. 
Hmm. Like I could ever get my friends to read this. They just think manga is for kids. I can't even bring it up without be them being all like, "Eh, you still haven't grown up out of that yet." Makes me want to punch them in the face. Yeah, same thing here. Manga is not for kids just, okay? It's not just for kids. It's for everyone. And especially me as an extreme weebo, I read quite a lot of manga and I watch a lot of anime content. So it's not just for kids, okay? I agree with Natsuki at this point. Ugh. I know those kinds of people. Honestly, it takes a lot of effort to find friends who don't judge. Much less friends who are also into it. I'm already kind of a loser, so I guess I gravitated towards the older losers over time. But it's probably harder for someone like you. Hmm. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. Wait, which part? I mean, I feel like I can't even keep it on my own room. I don't even know what my dad would do if he found this. At least it's safe here in the club room. Except Monica was kind of a joke about it. <laughs> I, I just can't win, can I? Well, it paid off in the end, didn't it? I mean, here I am reading it. Well, it's not like that solves any of my problems. Maybe. But at least you're enjoying yourself, right? So. Ahaha. Jeez, that's enough. Are you gonna keep reading or what? Yeah, yeah. I flipped the page. Suddenly, Natsuki starts laughing. <laughs> I totally forgot that happens. Natsuki puts her finger on one of the panels. Minori is my favorite character. Oh yeah, I remember Minori. There was a Minori in Project Sekai, if you remember, on my main channel's livestream I made back in June. There was a character called Minori. You always feel a little bad for her. She's so unlucky. But it gets especially bad when... Uh... I shouldn't be talking about that yet. Just finish this chapter. Natsuki's voice sparkles with excitement. It's a stark contrast to her usual bossy tone. But if she's not used to sharing her favorite manga with her friends, I can understand why. It's hard to express in words the feeling you get when connecting with someone like that. And being able to provide that to Natsuki when it's from a rare experience, the thought makes me smile a little to myself. Okay, everyone. Eh? Are you all ready with today's poems? Oh, come on. Could your timing be any worse? Sorry. I just needed to make sure we have enough time. Though, you do look pretty cozy over there. Ah ha ha. Eh? Ah ah. Natsuki suddenly notices how close she's gotten to me. She hastily slides herself to a good 12 inches away from me. All right. Guess I'll stop there for now. I close the book and hand it towards Natsuki. You're just giving it back? Don't you don't you want to know what happens? Ah, yeah, but Monica just said Don't be dumb! Just take it home with you. Eh? Is that really alright? I said that mostly because I didn't really plan on using my spare time to read this. Well, of course, it would take forever to finish if you didn't take it home. Just finish that one before tomorrow so we can start the next one. And if it gets bent, I'll kill you! What the hell? By tomorrow? I only got part way through the volume so far. I might fall behind on some shows if I try to get through this. But I suppose that's a necessary sacrifice in exchange of for seeing Natsuki's enthusiastic face. Or I'm most scared of what will happen if I don't finish it. Alright then, a stand up. I return to where I put my stuff and carefully slip the book into my bag. By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? Yeah. My relaxation ends. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I couldn't really find much inspiration since I've never really done this before. Well, not now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? I can't wait! Sayori and Monica enthusiastically put out their poems. Sayuri is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a composition notebook. I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. Natsuki and Yuri redemptically comply as well, reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. 
who should I show my poem to first? Okay, guys, I'll be right back. I have to sneeze. My nose is starting to drip. I'll be right back. Goodness, wow, it was worth it. Alright, I'm back now and we can show the poem to either Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri or Monica. I remember I originally wrote this for Sayori, so I'm gonna choose Sayori. I'm definitely most comfortable sharing it with Sayori first. She's my good friend after all. Oh my goodness, this is so good, Yorkfield. Eh? I love it. I had no idea you were such a good writer. Sayuri, you must be seriously overreacting. I'm not a good writer at all. I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. Well, maybe that's why. Because I have no idea what I like either. Ah, jeez. I'm sure Yuri's opinion has to be a little more constructive than this. Maybe even Natsuki's. Are you sure you don't like it because I wrote it? Eh? Well, I'm sure that's part of it. I think I understand you better than a lot of other people, you know. So when I read your poem, it's not just a poem. It's a Yorkfield poem! And that makes it feel extra special. Like I can feel your feelings in it. Sayori hugs the sheet against her chest. You're so weird, Sayori. <laughs> I'm really happy that you wrote one. It just reminds me of how you're really a part of the club now. Not to mention the fact that I'm standing in the front of you in the club room? Uh, well, of course. I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See? It's like I said before, Yorkfield, deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know? Trying new things like this for other people? That's something that only really good people do. Thanks, Sayori. Arigato gozaimasu. I'm not sure if Sayuri sees the full picture of my motive here. Then again, I can't deny that she's part of the reason I joined. Knowing how much this means for to her after, and all. Yeah, and I'm gonna make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? That will be my way of thanking you. Alright, I'm going to hold you to that then. Yay! Now you're in my poem too, right? Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> We'll see about that. Okay, let's read it. Dear Sunshine, the way you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you missed me. Kissing my forehead to help me out of bed makes me rub the sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I look above, the sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever, but I'm not mad. I want breakfast. Sayori, this is just a guess, but did you wait until this morning to write this? No, just a little bit. You can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. I forgot to do it last night. Well, at least that makes me feel a little better about myself. Don't be mean. I still tried my best. Ah, yeah. I didn't mean to say that it was a bad poem. It came out nice, or how should I put it? It sounds just like you. Really? Yeah. Especially that last line. I made eggs on toast. Even though you were late to school? It's bad to skip breakfast. I get all cranky. Well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyway, thanks for showing me. <laughs> this was so much fun. Monica's the best. Ah, yeah, but next time I won't forget, and I'm gonna write the best poem ever. Well, I guess I look forward to it. Okay, we're just gonna show the poem to one more character, and then we're, we're I'm gonna end this video, I guess. It's 27 minutes since I'm recording. I'm gonna show it next to Natsuki. Okay, well, let's start with the things I don't like. First of all, um, Natsuki rereads my poem. N never mind, I don't feel like giving you my opinion. Eh, then what's the point of sharing it in the first place? I wrote this when I could have been doing other things. Uh, in fact, remember how I said I wanted to read your poems? That's what I had in my mind when writing this. I want to help you feel comfortable enough to share yours. Like Monica said. Uh. 
Well, I would be more comfortable sharing my poem if yours was really bad. You were supposed to show me some dumb poem and make me go, ha, well it's not that great but it let me show you what real literature looks like. And you went and ruined it. I hope you're happy. So in other words, you're saying you liked it? Ugh. Natsuki's retort gets caught in her throat. Uh, you so. You just, you don't understand anything, do you? I already told you that you don't have to go announcing it to the world like you're all self-important. Pretty sure you have never actually said that. I say that mostly to myself. Natsuki must really hate me or something. I can't figure it out if it's a win or a loss that she'd like my poem. In any case, you still need to show me yours, right? Ah, fine, I guess. Only because Monica will make me if I don't. Eagles can fly, monkeys can climb, crickets can leap, horses can race, owls can seek, cheetahs can run, eagles can fly, people can try, but that's about it. Yeah, I told you that you weren't gonna like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff, so people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like it when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem, seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more white on the wordplay. Like I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then made it fall flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into it than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, I guess not. I decided to humor her with that last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take it out away from her. Okay, so it's been 31 minutes since I'm not recording this video, so I'm gonna save to that slot. I'm gonna overwrite that. Okay, there we go. So we're gonna come back in part three to show my poem to Yuri and Monica. Okay guys, thank you very much for watching the part two of my playthrough of Doki Doki Literature Club. We'll be back in part three to show my poem to Yuri and Monica and we'll see what happens and maybe who knows the scary stuff might happen. For now, there's nothing scary that happened yet. Except the thing that Yuri likes horror, like me. <laughs> so yeah, thank you for watching. We'll be back in part 3 of DDLC. Or maybe another video, who knows. Stay safe, take care of you, peace, bye!